Wake up, the Martins and us. The alarm clock is ringing. We pray, we make speeches, and lift up every voice we sing as we celebrate the birthday of Reverend Martin Luther King. But I think with a touch of song, what will we all be doing tomorrow? Will we still love and respect each other? Will we still call each other sister or brother? Or will we each go back to our private little shells of fear, afraid to speak out against racism and unfairness for all the world to hear? Martin would appreciate the joyous celebration. But if he were here today, he would also wonder what is the occasion. For he didn't just march for one day and then quit, saying no one cares anyway, they're not listening, I'm tired, that's it. No, he woke up almost every morning of his adult life, determined to educate the world to his people's track of strife. His mental alarm clock was ringing for freedom from the highest steeple as he fought peacefully for his imprisoned people. Please don't shut up the alarm clock, people. Rise from your sleep. For if Martin were here today, I'm sure he would sadly weep. For all the things he fought for, believed in, and died for are slowly slipping back because people are letting their mental energy grow slack. Friends, Martin was in a coma. He said, I have a dream that one day all people will not be judged based on their color, but will be treated equal. But in order to make those dreams stay alive, we have to be awake. Please don't let Martin's dream become a nightmare and have a terrible history retake. The alarm is ringing. Wake up, Martins. We have no time to lose. Wake up the Martins and us all. Don't roll over and hit the button. We can't afford to snooze.